so I wanted to do something a little bit different for this video. You're probably wondering why I have this hose out and why it's not a hose link. Hose link's right there. I'll show you what I'm going to do with this in a second. But I want to show you, um, for those of you that have followed along in a previous video, I did mention that I have my own business now, side business, and I'm treating about 20 customers uh, for fertilizer, weed control, and stuff like that. So I um, want to take you along for the ride tonight. Um, I usually go out about once a week and visit a handful of customers and take care of their lawns. So I want to show you what my setup is going to be tonight and talk about a little bit about my business and tools I'm using and things like that. Here we go. So um, a couple of the things I'm going to be doing tonight, I do have granular fertilizer going out and I'm going to be bringing my spiker spreader with me. Um, they're small yards, so um, I have teased that I do have spikers right on spreader. I did buy that this year for the business and also for my own personal enjoyment and I have been personally enjoying it. So more on that um, in a future video, I will be taking the Ergo Pro 50 pound out tonight. Um, I do have some smaller yards, like I said, and some of those yards I'm gonna be spraying. So I'm gonna be bringing my Flow Zone backpack sprayer, and I've wanted to have kind of an inexpensive way to manage uh, water. And so what I've got, this storage tote here, it holds 87 gallons, and it's got a valve on the end that you can connect a hose to. And I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in something like this. It's good for water storage. Um, you can put uh, tap water in it if you want. So if you want to go camping or something, have some kind of water storage, whatever. That's what I'm using. And I've got this hose for it that I just need to cut. So this is going to sit on this pallet here in the back of my truck. And it's going to be my water supply. So that's how I'm doing that. I, like I said, I don't have a lot of customers that I'm not really spraying a ton. Um, but I do need water, so that's how I'm going to have my water set up tonight. This is going to be the first time I'm running it, so come along for the adventure there. So just going to get the truck loaded up and get out to the lawns. So while I'm driving here, I just want to kind of give you a brief rundown about how I acquired my customers and how I take care of estimates. And the biggest tool, I'll have to tell you right off the bat, the biggest tool uh, that's been the most helpful for me with my estimates is uh, Horizon 360 from Toro. And uh, even for um, really, really, really small side hustles like me, having a tool like uh, Horizon 360 to keep track of my customers and um, estimates, it makes estimating super easy because you just put in the customer's address and then uh, you have a satellite image of their property and then you can um, plot zones on the map and get square footages. So makes it really easy, you don't have to go out on site, measure square footages or guess. Um, you can get a pretty accurate uh, measurement of the area that you're going to be servicing and you can use that to uh, create your estimates. So saves a lot of time. Uh, really helps a ton. So if you want more information on Horizon 360, I'll put a link in the description below. You can check that out. So as far as acquiring my customers go, uh, a lot of it has been and will continue to be word of mouth. Uh, I really didn't do a whole lot of marketing this year. I did a little bit on Facebook and got one customer out of it. So that's my most expensive customer by far. So um, not too keen on the Facebook marketing approach. Here's a rig right here. This guy's out doing work. Customers that I've gotten have been word of mouth or just people I know. I have a really good handful of customers that are right in my neighborhood on my street. And so having that route density is really, really nice. And it makes for a quick work of things. So the way that I've kind of divided things up is I have different areas. And like I said, I'm going out once a week. And so I've divided everything up into areas to meet the needs of each customer. Um, about once a month or so so and then if I have any extra time then uh, what I do is weed patrol so that's kind of my plan for tonight I've got uh, three customers that I'm going to go visit and then any bonus time will be just weed patrol so I'll drive by 
customers around my house in my area here. I'm kind of going outside of my area tonight, but I'll drive by uh, my neighborhood and anybody that needs weed patrol, which some of them do. Hopefully I have time tonight to get that done. This first yard that I'm going to tonight is the first visit. They just signed up. She was really nice. I, I typically knock on the door and say hello and introduce myself on the first visit. Uh, I think that's a good thing to do and I like having relationships with people. And I kind of like to lay down like expectations too because if I'm only treating their yard, I'm only doing really a third of the work. I tell them how I recommend mowing and watering that way they can do their part too and, and have good results because they're not just going to have good results just by me coming around and spraying the weeds and fertilizing if they're not watering enough or they're not mowing good then they're just going to continue to have average grass and i want them to look really good i want them to stand out from the neighborhood which is why i have those conversations with them so um, that was good. It took the first visit always I plan on taking a little bit longer than normal just because I do the soil test I I actually talk to the customer then I get down two additional applications here along with weed control So we did a lot there tonight and like I said because it was only the front yard not a big deal um, To take a little bit extra time as far as soil testing goes. I'll send that off to the lab I use my soil my soil is has been a partner of mine for a long time and that's one thing that I love about starting this business is companies that I've um, been friends with and partnered with um, have been super helpful in um, wanting me to succeed uh, with my business. So uh, really thankful for companies like Toro and Spiker and MySoil and Propeat and so many others that have been encouraging and have been um, willing to um, help me out uh, and partner with me. Uh, it's very exciting. Um, I love taking a, you know, just a night out to do this and it's been a lot of fun. All right, so that was it for the first visit for that customer, um, really nice lady. Um, she's actually the mom of one of my other customers. So there we go on the referral, which is awesome. So we're actually going to her daughter's house right now. She lives just a couple miles away and I have another customer in the same neighborhood. So we're gonna hit two right back to back here. So one thing I'll point out too tonight is I just have my truck. I'm not pulling a trailer with my um, big ride-on spreader tonight. Uh, I have uh, one large property out here uh, in this area that I take care of and I am not visiting him tonight. So I didn't feel the need to uh, load up the trailer. So everything's just in the back of the truck. Everything's in the truck. I've got the spiker spreader in the back seat which conveniently fits back there. And yeah, we're just pulling the truck around tonight. We're not, we're not dealing with the trailer. We're not dealing with the ride-on spreader. Um, that will be my next visit out here. I'll bring that out there because I've got a big uh, 18,000 square foot property out here uh, that I am managing too. So uh, it's nice to have the spiker ride-on spreader for properties like that. My biggest properties are, I have two that are like 17, 18,000 square feet, and then I have one that is uh, 30,000 square feet. So makes it a lot easier to not be pushing any kind of spreader. Spiker makes it easy because they're so comfortable, but pushing any kind of spreader around large properties just gets old really fast. So if you have a business and you have larger properties, it's, it's a good thing to invest in bigger equipment. So this is a really happy sight to come back here. This yard was completely covered in dandelions when I came for my first visit and now it looks so much better. There are still a few left, which is to be expected. I can't guarantee that I get everything, but um, I'm gonna go over this one more time now and then I have, in walking distance is my next stop. So I'm gonna go over this one more time here and knock out these weeds that are left over, move on to the next one. I forgot to mention that as far as weed control goes for my business, I'm using T-Zone and this is a lot like Speed Zone that I've talked about before, 
um, but it's got a little bit more kick to it. It works a little bit faster. It costs a little bit more, but it's worth it to me because of how fast it works and how well it works. So using T-Zone for my weed control uh, on my customer yards and at home too. So um, I will have a link in the description for that. You can get it in much smaller quantities than this two and a half gallon jug. All right, all finished. So I chose not to film on that property specifically because um, the family was out and about the whole time and they're friends of mine and um, didn't really feel comfortable having them in the video just out of respect for them. That's actually a lawn I'd really love to show you maybe another day just because I did a little bit of a renovation project for them at the very beginning of spring. They had a ton of the clumping fescue in their front yard and I came out and just dug it all out and put down seed. I overseeded the whole front yard and really generously seeded um, the spots that I dug out and backfilled. And I used the same grass seed that I use at my house. I used the blue ribbon blend and um, it's doing really good. Um, but like I said, didn't film anything there. Uh, I'll have to kind of get you some videos or before and afters another time, but it's doing really, really good and they're really happy with it and that's all that really matters. So that's gonna go ahead and do it. Um, I do have plans to share a little bit more about the business with you, like more in depth of what products I'm using and um, how um, I kind of figure out my programs and things. If you have any questions about uh, specifics about what I do and what products I use and what equipment I'm using, things like that, I'm happy to share that with you and this is all kind of a learning thing for me and that's the fun part that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up I know this is kind of a different video it might be a little longer I'm not sure yet we'll kind of have to see how things go in the editing room but had a lot of fun uh, bringing you along kind of just showing you a night out taking care of lawns so if you're not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time